invite you to experience the dynamic ministry of Dr. Clarence McClendon, evangelist and senior pastor of Church of the Harvest. God is raising up this voice to fan the flames of revival throughout the body of Christ, bringing the saving and miracle ministry of Christ Jesus to a new generation of people by bringing the whole gospel to the whole world for mankind's whole deliverance. the conclusion of the message that I preached last Harvest Fire, Harvest Fire 99. It was a powerful message entitled, This Time I'm Going In. It is a message and a declaration of faith for all of those of us who have been hindered, thwarted, uh, had obstacles put in our way, the devil tried to destroy you, whatever he did. In the name of Jesus, there's still faith and time and power available to you to go in if you want it bad enough. Watch this. The Bible says that Jericho was straightly shut up. Nobody was going out and nobody was coming in. Joshua now is facing an incredible obstacle. Uh, the, the enemy has set a limit for him. And the, with the walls of Jericho, the devil is saying, so far, but no further. He said, listen, I, I know you got in, but you ain't going to take the land. Uh, I know you crossed over Jordan. But you ain't getting our stuff. Now here's something you've got to understand about everything that God says is yours. Everything that God says is yours belongs to somebody else now. You gotta understand that. You gotta understand that. Everything that God says is yours is in somebody else's hands now. And if you don't understand how God does a thing, that'll upset you. But when you do understand, then you understand they're just taking care of it for me but look at somebody say it's mine don't get disgusted sit down don't get disgusted because somebody else is in it right now if god says it's yours baby it's yours they just gonna have to move when you get there they may be driving it but god says it's yours they're gonna have to give you the keys when it's time they may be living in it but god says it's yours Say it's mine, it's mine, it's... Hallelujah to his 
name. I'm here to help somebody take the limits off of God. I know your situation looks crazy. And it looks like the devil has tied up your stuff. But I came to tell somebody, if you keep moving in the name of the Lord, it's going to come into your hands. Look at somebody and say, it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. And I'm about to receive what God has for me. The Bible says that while Joshua was on his way to defeat Jericho, he looked at the walls and they looked impenetrable. And just before the wall came down, God showed up with some supernatural instruction. Now I came to preach to somebody here who's facing a crazy obstacle. was said. He said, what do you have to say? And the next thing we know, we see Joshua giving instruction to the children of Israel about how to win the battle. Where did he get the instruction from? He got it from the captain of the army of the Lord. And I came to tell somebody here who's up against a crazy obstacle. When God shows up, Look at somebody say there's a plan coming. I'm talking to a preacher who needs a miracle. There's a plan coming. I'm talking to a businessman who's got a vision. There's a plan coming. Look at somebody say there's a plan coming. And here's what I found out about God. When God gives you a plan, his power is in his plan. Look at somebody say the power is in the plan. Look at somebody say work the plan. When God gives you a plan, work it, work it, work it, work it. See, here's what we've got to understand. God's power is in his plan. And I found out, Bishop Bristol, that it doesn't matter how I feel. Once I got the plan, I got to work it. I don't have to feel power. In the plan, I don't have to feel able. The ability is in the plan. I don't have to feel do dash. The power of God is in the plan. Look at somebody say it's in the plan. If you work the plan, you'll see the power of God. I feel like preaching here. You don't mind if I preach just a little bit. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say hallelujah. The Bible says that Joshua gave. He said, here's what I want you to do. I want you to march around the wall once a day for six days. And then on the seventh day, look at somebody say the seventh day. I want you to march around it seven times. And then when you have marched, I want you to shout for the Lord is giving you the city. Now there's one little thing in Joshua's instruction that God didn't say to him. There's nowhere in the Bible where we see that God said, I want you to tell the children while they're marching not to say anything. Joshua said that on his own. And I asked God why did Joshua say that even though you didn't tell him to say it. And he said Joshua had about dealing with folk that talk 
cancer says no and you're shouting saying but my God shall supply all of my need hey, hey. hallelujah look at somebody say I ain't crazy I've just learned how to do this thing I'm not saying anything that God doesn't say say I ain't going
his hands and whoosh. of the Holy Ghost. You ain't crazy. Devil's been telling you you're crazy. You ain't crazy. Devil's been telling you you came up with that yourself. No, you didn't come up with that. God gave that to you. God put that dream in you. God showed that to you. And the bigger it is, the more you know it's here. It is God. uplifting. It's a new day. It's a new hour. I thank God for the anointing. I can feel. But right now, I don't have to feel nothing. All I got to do is obey the plan. All I got to do is work the promise. All I got to do is stand on the word. If I don't feel nothing, the power is in the plan. Now somebody shout here. anointing in this fresh anointing you've just received under the auspices of this prophetic word that has just come into your spirit I want you to take 60 seconds and I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost or in your understanding for the person whose hand you're holding on either side and here's the prayer I want you to pray I want you to pray the prayer
You know, if you're anything like me, there are a few things that upset you more than knowing that the enemy is holding on to something you're supposed to have or that he has hindered you from being somewhere or someone that you're supposed to be. I want to agree with you that this time you will go in to the blessing or the promise and if you have been thwarted, if you have been hindered, maybe you just fell apart. Well, get back up and let's go in and possess what God has for us. It's not over till you win. Father, in Jesus' name, I agree with my brother or my sister. I feel, Lord, today that someone needs to be encouraged. I pray the spirit of comfort, the encouragement of the Holy Ghost come to their lives, lift them up, and move them forward. And in the name of Jesus, I agree with them to possess their inheritance, what you have promised. In Jesus' name, it shall be done if you will believe. The conference was incredible. Now it can be yours. Harvest Fire 99.